Hi everyone. Uh, so in this lecture, we are going to go over the device data transfer option under project app. So if you look at it, we don't have anything set up, but if you click on new, and this is where you do your basic settings of when you want the data to be transferred and give it a name and how quickly you want it to be transferred. So we'll if you want it to be at a rise or a fall or more sampling. So if you do a rise, give it a bit, let's say M0. It be auto assigns the transfer inverting flag to M1. You cannot change that. If I come up here and do M2, oh, that's the notification device. We do D0. It basically gives a couple of bits. You can use these in the PLC to make sure that the data has been transferred or if you have any error signal here. So now under the device tab, this is where you would set up saying if you want to do a block of one, block of five and you would come up with a source and a destination so let's say I want to transfer D100 to uh, D200 this would transfer it so rather than doing it in the PLC you can do it right up here in the HMI now you can also point it to a GD register so you can move stuff to GOT memory based on something in your uh, PLC program and present it to the operator for like things for a specific model that they're running or something like that or I have used this function to transfer between two uh, two PLCs as long as that memory wasn't really a uh, it was more of a information regarding the part and didn't really affect the process of the equipment so since you only have 100, uh, 100 millisecond of time if you do a sampling you cannot go faster than that so you have to keep that in mind if you're trying to transfer between two PLCs using this option. So uh, that's that's all you got as far as the transfer goes. You can also offset this based on a register. You can offset both, like uh, you can move both of them or just move your source or just move your destination. Uh, we use this a lot for uh, bringing information from PLC to the HMI based on the model. So you don't have to have five screens, you can just have one screen and you could transfer different information based on your source model so yeah that's what you have for the device data transfer we'll look at a couple of other options in the next lecture thank you